Now, if y'all watching this, that can only mean one thing. We are about to embark on one of my biggest trips of the year. Now, just like back at Shawshank, every series is a new adventure or a puzzle that we have to solve and solve quickly. And just like every fishing trip, this one will have its special okay. moments that we will look yeah. back on forever. Coolest catch of my life by far. All while capturing it through a lens of a camera. That's right, yep. I'm spending 12 days down in the shark fishing capital of the world during the infamous black tip migration with my good oh, yeah. friends, Tommy and Justin. We'll be targeting the most ferocious apex predators that lurk in the Atlantic Ocean. Mighty beasts like bull sharks, goliath groupers, black tip sharks, stingrays, and more. We did this all on our own right here, drone fishing sharks. Let's go! Okay. go! And so, we now welcome you back to West Palm Beach, Florida, season two. We're gonna catch some fish, baby, and we're gonna do it in style. This is how we do it, Florida, baby. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the West Palm series season two. Uh, we were actually at this boat ramp spot. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Obviously you guys have seen in the previous videos, there's a lot of nurse sharks here, but there also is bull sharks and lemons. But what we want to do is drone fish these giant eight to nine foot nurse sharks, seven to nine foot that range. I think it'd be awesome. Fly a bait out as far as we can, drop it and then be hooked up. But we're gonna be using the 50 wides because my fight on that last nurse shark that was about seven feet, right? Seven feet? Yeah. Probably took a solid 30 to 40 minutes and it was just, it was hell. So we're gonna use the 50 wides, go lock drag, get them in quicker and hopefully it'll just, it'll, just, it'll be a lot easier. So I'm really excited to do this. I wanted to do this the entire time and we're finally getting a chance to. It's a nice calm night in Florida. It's like 81 degrees right now. As always, this entire series is sponsored by Father Action Outdoors, Beyond Braden, and St. Clair Rods. All of those will be linked in the description below if you guys wanna check out any of those. Follow the action is an outdoor apparel brand. Beyond Braid is obviously Braid, fishing braid. Some of the best of the best. And then San Croix rods, the best rods on earth. Been using them since I was two, three years old. That was my first rod, 25 now, and still obsessed with uh, San Croix rods. So, all right, so we're gonna show you guys the entire setup. We are all set up on the rigs. We'll go over the rigs and like the line that we're using, and then how we're gonna attach the bait to the drone. We can't use super big baits only because the drone uh, attachment itself can only hold up to about one pound. So we'll have to kind of downsize a little bit, but a nurse shark's gonna for sure pick it up. If we get a bowl or lemon, that'd be honestly unreal. But my guess is the nurse shark's gonna be picking it up. So we'll get a quick word from Justine as always. What are we doing, bud? About to fly the baits up, just getting our bait set up. Some nice guys gave us a whole bucket of sheep's head. So we're gonna rig up and try it out and see what happens. Anything, sharks, maybe a stingray could come through and pick it up. Just never really know here. And uh, should be a good time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be the drone piece. That ring's gonna clip onto a piece I showed you in a second, but I'm gonna take this rope and actually tie it to this, the top, this swivel right here. Probably just gonna do a simple overhand knot just to kind of secure it. It's kind of like that wax line, so it should hold pretty good, but I'll do a couple of knots. What we have here is, this is a 100 pound mono going to a swivel. Then you got your drone piece off here, and then this is going to wire down to a nine out hook right here circle hook okay guys so this is the attachment right here and there's a little clip if you can see that right there that's what's actually gonna what that o-ring's gonna attach to and then if you press this button that's how we're gonna drop the baits I mean, here, look. All right. I'm going to let you control the line. Guys, this is absolutely awesome. Okay, we're going to point the camera down. This is literally insane.
Okay, so I tried to do the best I can filming because Justin has to hold the rod. It is kind of tough doing it, doing it that way just so we don't backlash these reels. It'd be a lot easier on a spinning rod, but I think I hopefully filmed enough of it and I at least filmed the drone part going out. So we got both, both lines way the hell out there. We got two conventionals, 250 wides, just to make it a little bit easier on us. But that was honestly really cool. It's the first time I've ever done that and it literally went smooth as butter. So that landing gear, um, I can actually leave a link to that exact piece that I got, but the button works perfect. All you're doing is turning on the under light, and that's actually what drops as the light activated. So two lines out, let's see if we can uh, nail some sharks. I gotta get that before it goes too far. Hey, why don't you move over there now that he's there because it's the other line. Oh god, he is crossed. Is he? Pretty sure. Alright guys, so mine just went off. Unfortunately, Justin's dropped it. But we just re-dropped uh, Justin's as you saw. Oh. And we might have to drop both. Yeah, we're going to have to use two different piers. Because I unfortunately... Well, I don't Justin's think it matters. Line. It matters because he's still going to swim over there. Actually, wait, yeah, we use the same piers every night. Right. Oh, or maybe we should have reeled yours in. Yeah, probably. But so far, this is the first drone fishing sharks. Probably, I think this definitely feels like an earth. But you know what? They're still fun. Still bending the hell out of this rod, and we're hooked up. If you put that puppy in low gear, it'll be like nothing. Huge head pig. Oh. Probably a big boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Did these nurse even on 50 wides and big rods still fight so hard? But I this uh, there's a low gear, high gear on here to make it easier to reel. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a mess. How bad? Probably pretty bad. Yeah. Well, 200s might not be hard. And honestly, when in doubt, we just cut, find our swivel, right. and we tie. I'd like to keep doing this, though. So. Mm -hmm. Me and Justin both agree we are done fighting uh, nurse sharks on our spinning tackle. It just takes way too long. Even this takes a while. I mean, this thing is still probably 40 yards out. And as you guys seen, these aren't some small nurse sharks here. Which we're actually really fortunate about too, because I've seen a lot of pictures and just like people that catch nurses, I see a lot of small ones. So this also could be, oh. That's pulling complete max drag all the way locked. What is it, 40 pounds of drag? Yeah, unless your thing, well your thing is also. I tightened it. Oh, you did? Okay hey guys, just so Justin's not standing there like an idiot, uh, we'll come back to him and get a little bit closer. It's still so far out and fighting so hard. I mean, look at this, the Raj is bouncing left and right and just keeps taking drag. So we'll come back to you in a short second. Okay guys, very, very unexpected turn. This is a bull shark. We just hooked probably a 200 to 250 pound bull shark. Would you agree with that, Justine? Yeah. Like an, an actual giant here. I'll have Justin yep, put the camera on it. Look at the remora. 
But what I'm gonna do is a beach wide open here. I gotta just try and turn them. Let them maybe swim out a little. Get away from the dock. As a, I'm gonna come back by you. Got a bull shark. Yeah. <laughs> that is sick. I catch him out all night too. Oh, I no. live down no, the street. Get away from the dock. No. Careful, Tommy. He's. Oh, this is over. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. Over. Get him out. Get him out. It's over. It's no, over. no, 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 it's no, no. It's over. It's under no, the ladder. No, fight him. Fight him hard. Get his ass out of there. We need him. For the video, dude. For the video. Please come out. Please come out. Please come out. Please come out. Oh, God. Please, please. How's he wrapped? I don't know. I can't see it. I can do. Yeah. You got this, dude. Come on. I can't. Come on, dude. You got this. <sighs> yes. Yes. Okay, heads up, guys. Heads up. All right. All right. Just set it up right now, Mivan. I'm not locked tight. There we go. Okay. Oh my God, guys, it got okay. stuck in the pier, and I was still able to get him out. This is the bull shark, our first landed bull shark of the trip. We've hooked them. Be careful. Be careful. Get his ass in. Yeah, watch yourself, Justin, watch yourself. Justin, keep pulling. Thank you, thank you. Hard drive, hard drive. Oh, that hit me in the face. All right guys, my first bull shark of the trip. Right here, drone fishing sharks. We thought it was gonna be a nurse and it turned out to be a bull. Uh, we're gonna cut that real quick and grab a pick, but this is my first bull shark of the trip. Two, what'd you say, 250 pounds? Yeah, probably. 250 pound bull shark right here. Not the PB, but a beautiful shark. So let's get this cut, get this a safe release. Unreal, this is crazy. Let's go. Careful, dude. I know. All those wire cutters are in the water. All right, guys. 250 pound bull shark going back in. Maybe 300, but I say 250. I'm gonna drag him in just like this. Hopefully, turn him so he doesn't absolutely bite my leg off. There we go. I'm gonna push him out. Hold him, him for a little bit. We're gonna let him revive for a second. But guys, look at the size of his tail. Look at this. Beautiful fish. And we did it all on our own. No charter shit. We did this all on our own right here. Drone fishing sharks. Thought I was a nurse. Turned out to be a bull. And this is exactly what we wanted here. We'd rather have this. So ready? I'm gonna walk this thing out a little bit more. Yeah, it's dope. You can take that off of here. All right, ready? I'm gonna send this back. Shout out to Justin for filming. Shout out to that guy for help. Beautiful specimen. Let's get out Hang again, out there. dude. There could be more. They move in packs. Dude, no way. Let's go, Let's go. Holy shit, I did not expect the ball. That was another lifetime moment that I'm gonna look back on forever. So happy, we're gonna get another bait, I'm gonna shut the hell up, but let's go baby, we did it. Okay, so I just wanna make a quick correction just because they're so similar. So that was actually a lemon shark, not a bull shark. I know I said bull shark a hundred times, but that was my first ever lemon shark in general and my first ever, well, I guess bull or lemon is what I was saying like from shore, so. They're so similar. It's literally just like the adipose fin. That's just like, I guess the lemons are taller. The bulls are a little bit shorter. So correction on my end, my bad. Um, it was a lemon. So still though unreal. All right. So we just sent out another bait. I wouldn't film it, but I'm actually hooked up again. I literally just dropped this five minutes. It's already on. Oh, 
feels really big again and it's going towards this boat. I'm gonna lock it fully. Oh, this is a big, dude, this is big. No, dude, dude, it's going towards that boat. I'm just gonna lock it back because it's going towards the boat. Parked out there and I don't want to get snagged on it. Holy shit. Dude, I can't even turn it. I can't turn it, I can't do anything. I can't even walk back. Oh, there we go, there we go. Turn up, turn up, turn up. No, I think it's a shark. You sure? No, I'm not sure, but I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, I don't know how they fight vertically. Oh well, yeah, we do. Actually. Yo, I might have to go over here. Wait, was that it? No, those are the, I think those are the remoras. But it doesn't mean what it is yet, because there's remoras in that grouper too. Yeah. The footage look good? Yeah. Dude. If he takes a run now, it could be bad shape. I it's making it should, shit jump I out think, there. I think I should go over there. I'm going to. All right, guys, huge shout out to this nice lady for filming. Um, I'm hooked up, Justin's hooked up. We thought it was a big bull shark in that last one, but we were corrected and it definitely was a lemon. This is a nurse shark. Nurse shark? Oh, Okay guys, so I honestly thought mine was a big lemon. It's actually a giant nurse, so look at look at the size of these remoras on it too. That's an anchor. That's a tanker. That makes it bigger than the other one, dude. Look at the look on it. That's a giant. You got it? Yeah, you can it anyway. Oh, shit. All right, big boy, chill. This thing won't bite me, right? No. no. <laughs> All right guys, this is my PB nurse. This is a nurse shark. I thought it was a lemon because it was so big. Look at literally like the girth on this thing. Look, this thing's gotta be two feet wide. Look at the head on this thing. I mean, here, look, both my hands spread out. Can't even cover the whole shit. So this is my PB nurse, probably about 250 pounds, maybe even a little bit longer. I mean, look at the size of this. Yeah, the belly is what gets it. The girth is pretty decent. This could be pushing the 300. Belly, the belly is huge. Because most nurse sharks we've caught this year, we've been able to, uh, Hold up on shore, and this was not so. Okay, Perot, can I just kind of touch it for a second? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Come here, over come, here. Yeah, come over here just to be safe. Because they do still have teeth, but. Oh my god, it's like rough. Yep. If you, it feels like sandpaper. You have to go this way, it's a little bit rougher. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, this has got to be pushing 300 pounds, easily 250. It's, this is bigger than the lemon that we just caught. This is an absolute giant, my PB nurse. I'm gonna. Get the hook out real quick, and then we are gonna get the uh, release. Goodbye, beauty. Look at that bull Wow, that's a giant. <sighs> unreal. <coughs> Absolutely unreal, speechless. I'll come to you guys in a second.
Talk to me. Alright, I think I have a fish on. Well, I definitely had a fish on. He was ripping line out. Almost I have to. Yeah. Yep, you're on, you're on, you're on. Nice. Good thing is is that it's off. Whatever snag it was definitely on. So hasn't really taken any drag unless it just doesn't know what the hell's going on. Jeez, it's went straight towards it. Look at that. Come on. Um. Alright guys, that's a lot of sharks tonight. We're going to wrap it up there because we're getting booted out of here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, one of the coolest videos that I, I think we filmed only because we were using the drone. We were able to get a lemon couple giant nurses I also got my PB nurse absolute just behemoth of a nurse one of the biggest we've caught here so I don't want to give you guys my official outro because this is a series so I'll see you guys tomorrow but remember like the video like the video subscribe to the channel it means more to me than anything honestly that keeps you going so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the morning this thing won't bite me right no. No.